This is the Gem Adding Machine, probably from the 1950s. It has seven columns of digits with chains that you pull down with a stylus. It has this little knob to clear it to zero, and a flip down stand. Mine is in perfect condition. Mine's got the serial number 403330. Three consecutive threes. This thing is small enough to fit in your pocket. It's about the size of a smartphone. Actually, it works the same way too. You see on the back is the Siri button. This thing was made by Automatic Adding Machine Muffers from New York. They started making these in 1907 and continued throughout the 1950s. Mine seems to be one of the more recent ones. Almost all the models of this machine are called the Golden Gem. Mine just says Gem. I'm not sure why. Hey, look at that. It says D Ding Machine. Anyway, here's how you use it for adding. You enter a number with the stylus. Now, I don't have the original stylus, so I'm just using a little screwdriver. Check it out. This is an America Online screwdriver. Anyway, you just pull down the digits that you want. So 385 would look like this. And then you can see it in the register up on the top. If you want to add some numbers together, you just enter them one after another, and they all add together in the answer up on top. It's pretty simple. All the carrying from one digit to the next happens automatically, so you can input the digits of each number in any order you want. You can clear the answer back to zero by turning this little knob here. Watch them go! The mechanism is pretty simple. The chains are attached to the answer wheels at the top, and those wheels have an extra little peg on each one by the nine, which does the automatic carrying to the next digit. This chain thing is fairly unique, but the basic idea is the same as the much more common spinning wheels design, which I've talked about many times before. My favorite machine of that type is this cheap plastic one by Chadwick. It's the same basic idea, only instead of pulling the chains, you spin these big wheels. The advantage of the chain mechanism is that you can make the machine flat. With this thing, the machine has to at least be big and fat enough to contain the wheels. This is another similar design. Here you pull down on a rigid strip, but that machine still needs to be big enough for those strips to slide all the way down. But when you do this with a chain, you can really make the machine as small as you want. It's a great idea, but I imagine it was harder to manufacture than a bunch of wheels or strips. And I'm sure these individual chains are more likely to break than one of those wheels. So I like the chains, but I get why everyone else went with wheels. Chains also give you quite a bit of friction. I don't know if it's just my machine, but I feel like I have to pull pretty hard on those chains to get them down to the bottom, especially when you carry a digit. If I have to carry several digits at once, I start worrying that I'll break the chain. My machine is actually in remarkably good shape. Whoever owned this before me really took care of it. These golden gem machines are actually kind of hard to find for cheap these days. Here's an interesting story about that. I found a guy online that lives near me who was selling one of the early models of the Golden Gem, which came in a wooden case. That wooden one is super rare, and the guy only wanted $35 for it. I told him I was interested, but then he told me that he decided not to sell it after all, so I didn't get that one. And that's my story. My favorite part of the story is when that guy said he'd sell me the wooden Golden Gem for $35. My least favorite part of the story is when that guy changed his mind.